It's good to doubt yourself. I know everybody is telling you, believe in yourself, believe in yourself. I would say, please doubt yourself. If something goes wrong, you always see maybe it's you. First, <laughs> this is what I've been teaching you all the time. Whatever is going right or wrong in your life, first thing is to see maybe it's me who caused this. Look at it carefully, if it's not you, then we look at others. Instead of doubting others around you, it's better to doubt yourself, maybe you didn't do it well. Oh, but uh, this is not allowing me. No, you'll walk sensibly. The so-called confident idiots are stepping on everybody's everything and walking. Little doubt will bring little sense into you. You'll walk a little more gently upon this planet. Self-belief or any kind of belief will bring you confidence without clarity, which is a destructive thing. <laughs> the world, the level of damage that's happened to this planet and to life around us, everything is because confidence without clarity. If you had little doubt about what you're doing, you would think ten times before you do something, isn't it? And that would be a sensible world. I want everybody to have some self-doubt. Please, don't think you're always perfect and superhuman or something. Superhuman beings must go. We need only human beings on this planet. Huh? They don't even know how to wear their underwear. We don't like such people. <laughs> all these superheroes, I think uh, almost all of them are origins in California, isn't it? <laughs> Am I correct? Huh? Superman, Superwoman, Spider-Man, all are California born? Okay. <laughs> One wears an underwear over the… <laughs> whatever the attire, another wears a belt over the underwear, <laughs> another puts it over his head <laughs> And for this they're super. Now, we want normal, sensible human beings. We don't want superhuman beings. Because they always did stupid things. So people who think they're super, they always did stupid, idiotic, life-damaging things. We want sensible, normal, joyful human beings. We can have a beautiful life here. And normal human beings should always doubt everything that they're doing because you don't have a complete vision of the existence. You're only seeing existence in little pieces, always. With little pieces, if you have too much confidence, you're a dangerous creature. With little pieces, we know how to do little things. We don't know how to conduct the whole existence, all right? It's best to be in self-doubt. It's a great virtue, don't think it's a problem. Don't look at those super confident idiots who are trampling on this planet and think you want to be like them. No, it's all right to doubt. Yes, doubt is good. Doubt means you're searching for truth. Do not transform your doubt into suspicion. Suspicion is a sickness. Something must be wrong. This is suspicion. Something may be wrong. This is okay. It's okay. It keeps you alert, aware, conscious, always on your toes, not on your ass. <laughs> yes, it's a good way to be. At one point or another, we all have questions whether or not, whether or not we are doing enough or making enough money or are we going to be successful enough or not. I know this firsthand as I have spent long periods of my time in a persistent state of fear and self-doubt. I have also doubted myself to the point that I have been making decisions based on what others wanted me to be and not what I wanted for myself. 
आई वॉज कॉन्स्टेंटली स्ट्रगलिंग विथ कॉन्फिडेंस एंड ऑलवेज सेकेंड गैसिंग माई सेल्फ सेल्फ डाउट कैन बी अनकम्फर्टेबल एंड प्रॉब्लमैटिक थॉट प्रोसेस लकीली देर आर सम थिंग्स वी कैन डू टू स्टार्ट ओवर कमिंग दिस सेल्फ डाउट एंड मूविंग फॉरवर्ड विथ मोर कॉन्फिडेंस सच एज अनकंडीशनल सेल्फ वर्थ मीनिंग ट्राइंग टू कल्टिवेट अ सेंस दैट योर वर्थ इज नीदर इंक्रीज्ड नॉट डिक्रीज बाय एक्सटर्नल फैक्टर्स सच एज हाउ पीपल ट्रीट यू योर डिसीजन्स द अमाउंट ऑफ मनी यू मेक एक्सेट्रा सेकेंड इज अनकंडीशनल लव having permanent love for yourself can turn the tables for you when you are in mental crisis next is using positive self talk saying things to yourself such as you are kind you are positive or supportive can calm your mind and helps in boosting confidence lastly the best way according to me is self affirmations For example, you might say to yourself that I am strong and capable. I am doing the best that I could do. I am enough. I am capable of anything I put my mind to or I am worthy of all the great things in this world. Remember, affirmations are the way to go and it has helped me a lot when I was spiraling in doubt for myself. Also self awareness is a critical step in overcoming self doubt the more you know about yourself the better you can understand what is holding you back and the more empowered you are to do something about it the thing that triggers you to feel self doubt and other negative emotions are messengers from the unhealed part of who you are it takes both compassion and analysis to identify your triggers and you can manage them another way to counter self doubting thoughts is by connecting to your purpose and inspiration remember why you are doing what you do and recommit to giving the best of you find your motivation within and watch how to eliminate your self doubt if you experience much self doubt you are likely to become very familiar with being able to rationalize your emo- emotional state in a way that excuses you from doing what you need to do if those ex- excuses are getting in the way you need to el- eliminate them immediately in quick moving stressful situations exactly the time when your self doubt waits to strike you can stay in control with the simple act of checking in with your values Being driven by your values can pivot your way you make decisions and carry yourself through situations. And remember, n- nobody can give you wiser advice than yourself.